What is going on, everybody? Happy Tuesday. Bobby Fi here, flying solo today because Sheets is out. I will be live at 6 Eastern. Guys, please like and subscribe and all that stuff. And with that said, I'm going to do a quick uh, game by game, uh, just, you know, first look at what we're looking at tonight as far as the NBA goes. New York uh, starting in Orlando. I, I don't think that, like, I, I feel like everybody rates in this game to be fine. I think the, the play I like the best is RJ Barrett. Um, if you want to take the cheap shot on Hartenstein or on Sims, I, I, I'm, I'm not going to tell you it's horribly wrong because they're going to be low owned and they are cheap and Hartenstein has been fairly productive. Sims has been sort of all over the place, but my favorite play is probably Barrett followed by Brunson and then Randall. I think they're all decent plays. It's a really bad, you know, uh, defense in Orlando. So I think those guys are decent plays, but nobody who quite makes it to like my priority list, although that may change my mind the end, by the end of the day on RJ Barrett on the Orlando side with all these guys, the only one I'm going to have interest in because he started, his minutes are coming back are Suggs. Uh, Suggs at 3,600, I think is a really good play both for tournaments and cash games. Everybody else, again, it's like one of the situations where I wouldn't fault anybody for picking any of these guys and just, and just taking a shot, but nobody who stands out to me as like a must play. My next favorite play would probably be Franz Wagner, but I do think Suggs may end up in my, uh, in my cores by the end of the day. Cause I think they are going to start running in more and more minutes. It's just hard with that crowded backcourt that they have there. All right. Phoenix at Brooklyn. Um, we're going to get to the Brooklyn side in just a second. Nothing initially stands out as being like a must play on Phoenix. I think these projections are a little low on both Chris Paul and Cam Johnson. So I'd be willing to take shots on both of them. Um, I think that's pretty much all I would be doing. I don't mind Bridges, but I do think both Chris Paul and Cam Johnson by the end of the day could even end up being uh, being my priorities. I, as of right now, I just think they're being underprojected. Uh, on the Brooklyn side, it's going to be really hard not to play Cam Thomas and Edmund Sumner again. Um, I really don't know what the argument is for the fade. I guess if Ben Simmons comes back and starts and they move one to the bench, maybe there'll be less minutes. I don't really know why they would do that with Cam Thomas basically being the the, the only guy keeping them in games and then Sumner playing every minute. So both those guys are going to automatically be like, I mean, I'll, I'll probably, if it started right now, I'd probably have 80 to 100% of them. Um, Sumner's price at 4,100 went up a little bit. He didn't even have his best game last night. He still put up 34 fantasy points, I think. Um, I just don't see why we would be getting, you know, fading the situation. So I'm going to be all over those two, whether Simmons plays or not. Going to uh, New Orleans, uh, the Atlanta side, I think that John Collins and DeAndre Hunter are both completely reasonable here. Um, I think that, you know, Hunter being that own wouldn't, I wouldn't probably have interest. And even Collins, like, I don't think anybody here is like a must play. So if the ownership really does that look as, you know, as strong as it is right now, which I, I think it'll be changed. It'll change by, by later today. But I, I do think Collins is a, is, is a solid play. And um, I think taking a shot on Trey is certainly fine, but uh, nobody who really stands out. It's a great pace environment. So you'd like to get exposure. So I guess Trey and Collins would be my two favorites on that side. And I do love Brandon Ingram on the other side. Um, the price is there. The minutes are back. Uh, I think it's time we can go ahead and play him pretty comfortably. I also like taking some shots on Joe Val today. And I wouldn't mind if you wanted to end up with a Herbert Jones or a McCollum. Um, but I personally am going to be just most heavy on Brandon Ingram. Chicago and Memphis. Um, back to back for Chicago. Uh, really, really let me down last night. Uh, DeMar DeRozan probably cost me a couple thousand dollars just from cashing everything to not cashing because I had him in a, in a good number of lineups. So that was a little frustrating. Curious to see what they do on a back-to-back -back here. So I'm going to sort of let, let, wait till six till we really go through this one. As of right now, I don't see anybody that 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 stands out for me on the Chicago side. Again, another good pace game. So you'd like to take something. I think Levine suits the game style probably the best. So I guess that's kind of interesting, but he's 8,300. I don't love that price. And on the other side, um, wait to see who they're starting, first of all, uh, whether it's Tillman or Clark or whatever. I think that Tillman would probably in this situation get the start. And I like him um, right on the cusp of being a priority play for me tonight. I'm not, I'm still not sure exactly what I'm going to do with Tillman, um, but, but may end up being a priority by the end of it. 
And that's really the only play that I that, that I like love, love. I'm good with Jaron Jackson Jr. I'm good with John Morant. I'm fine if, with Bain, but everybody else, nothing that really stands out as being like an exceptional play. Um, I do know, you know, a lot of st- stars have really gone off against the Bulls and maybe playing Jaw is actually a little bit more, uh, even a better play than I was leading on. All right. We got Minnesota with the, qu- the Q tags, throwing a, a wrench in the slate again. We've seen Gobert sit in these situations. We've seen Gobert play. As of right now, we're going to pretend that he's playing. Uh, it is against Jokic. It's in Denver. And I, I I am totally unsure of what, what to do with this game because I, I do think there's a chance at least one of these guys does sit. Assuming they both play, I, I like Kyle Anderson. That 4900 price is completely reasonable. Um, whether they play or not, Anthony Edwards' price got hiked up and no one's playing him. I'll just say that he's been very productive and I think it's a little bit of a way you can differentiate. I know people aren't going to want to pay the 10 K, but I think that it's, I don't think it's that, that unreasonable. Um, I think the the more reasonable thing though, would probably be just taking da- shots at D'Angelo Russell, but mostly it's, it's Kyle Anderson if he plays. And then if Gobert's out, we know the drill. It's Nas Reed. Maybe you mix in some clever Luca Garza or something like that, but not Nas Reed is the, is, is the play obviously. And so is Kyle Anderson. If there's no go bear um, on the Denver side, uh, everybody probable. So I'm assuming that they all play uh, Jamal Murray. I, I just feel like at these prices, I, I don't feel like overly that interested in playing people outside of Jokic here. So I think Jokic is p- pretty much my level of interest. The problem is there's another guy in the game coming up that we're about to talk about that. I think you want to use as your priority spend up tonight. Still good with Jokic. Um, if you can try and get them both in together, maybe you do. But Jokic is my most interest in, on the Denver side in that one. Okay, see, Shea's had some really good games in LA before, but I'm not like overly excited about it. We fought Aaron Wiggins with the late troll game. I don't know what to do with this guy. <sighs> Aaron Wiggins, as of right now, I think I would probably take a shot on him in some lineups. Also, if playing the later games, you'll have some swappability because I'm going to play some Lakers here, and we're going to talk about that in a second. But both Jalen Williams and Aaron Wiggins, uh, from a point per dollar standpoint, certainly seem reasonable. And even the Jalen with a Y Williams is probably reasonable um, at thirty one hundred. But the 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 I think that I think that it's easier to get to Giddy um, than it is to Shea. So maybe you could even do a little stack with Giddy and and Wiggins or Giddy and Williams, and then LeBron on the other side. But I, I I am interested a little bit in the OKC side tonight. The Lakers have been the highest scoring team in the NBA since uh, Thanksgiving. And uh, I think that you're going to see a pretty fast paced game. Uh, I, I, I look, if this number is right on LeBron, I wasn't really going to play much today, but I might have to, if that's the correct number, I think you're playing LeBron today. Uh, for those of you who have been living under a rock, LeBron is going for the all time scoring record today. And you could argue, yes, they have another game at home afterwards against Milwaukee, but like, wouldn't, don't you not want to do that in a game where you might lose? But let's, like, what if they lose by 30 in that game? That's kind of a weird time to, to break the scoring record. I think he goes for it tonight. I think he gets up every shot he can. And I think he has the ball in his hands a ton. I love LeBron tonight. I actually almost think there's a, a there's nearly a route where I could talk myself into LeBron and AD together, but didn't quite get to it. LeBron is the main play. Um, that's what I would be doing. I don't think I would fade LeBron in any lineups tonight. If it doesn't work out, even like the thing is, it's not like he's a bad play anyway. But when you factor in the scoring title, I, it's just really hard for me not to have a ton of interest. So I would be playing LeBron uh, basically everywhere tonight. And uh, I wasn't even I was even debating whether or not to play tonight. I think I'm just gonna have to throw a lineup in just because I need to play some LeBron. Um, and I still might put in a few more lineups because if no one's going to play him, I'm, I'm, I just see that as too big of an opportunity to not take advantage of. So we'll see what the ownership looks like this afternoon. Anyway, guys, I'll see you around six Eastern time. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, we'll be live then I'll post all my uh, bets of the day, which have been really, really good for the most part. I don't think they were as good yesterday. I got to double check. Um, We've got, uh, I'll put my core plays up and I will put my early lineup build. So good luck to everyone today. And I hope to see you guys at the top of the leaderboards. Good luck, everybody.